Ryan Higgins back with you now, joined by Coach Q. And again, 108-84 is the final score tonight to Paul over the orange. Uh, uh, Q obviously did not go well tonight, really, in any facet. Where, where do you think it went wrong early for you in this game as DePaul just came out hitting three after three after three in the first quarter? Yeah, they made a lot of shots, first of all. But secondly, we came out with no energy. I mean, we came out flat. Man, the first two threes, when they hit, we were, we were, we were nowhere near them. And, um, and we can't play that way. You know, we can't, we, we, we can't have them kicking the ball out and, and shooting wide open shots and we're, and we're standing there. You know, that's a, that's a problem. So we got to do a better job of coming out with some, with some energy and ready to play. That got them a 10-2 lead. It was 10-4 when you subbed out your entire starting lineup uh, less than three minutes into the game. You did get a little spark, I think, from the bench uh, for a few minutes. That, uh, maybe it got away from the inexperienced players there midway through the first quarter. That's no question, but, but you know, they got it down to six. And yeah. we just ran out of gas. And, man, that group ran out of gas. If that group might have, might, have, might have had some more gas. We might, we might have got back in the game a little bit sooner. But, you know, we got to give man, DePaul so much credit. Man, they came out and they played – very good basketball game. They spread us out. They made shots. Um, we didn't. We didn't. We didn't get out and get good um, contests. We just had no energy. I mean, it seemed like same. I guess, guess we left it all in last night's game. Yeah, uh, yeah it's no surprise what the ball does. It doesn't make it any easier to guard. And they really uh, shot it well tonight. 19 of 39 from three. All right, you're down 23 early in the second half. You got a 10-0 run. You, you always seem to have a run to get back within 13. Did you feel like you almost had the corner turned, and then they hit you again with, with a couple more plays? Yeah, it, it's no question. I mean, they they we we're starting to make some make some plays, then we give up something deep down the floor, over the top. We don't get back, and we wasn't wasn't getting matched up really really good in our in our pressure. And, and you know, we, we gotta give them so much credit. I, I can't I can't make it seem like it was all just us. I mean, the Paul played the play played a magnificent yeah. game, and when you get shots, you gotta make them. And they got open shots, and they made them. So so I can't start to start to act like it was just. Our, our lack of anything. I mean, DePaul did everything they needed to do um, to win a basketball game, and they came up with a, with a, with a great good game plan. I mean, ultimately, this falls on me as a coach. I got to get us ready to play. I got to do a, do a better job of getting the better product on the floor. Thank you. It's going to be a quick turnaround to, to do that, at least quick as far as another Thank big goodness. time opponent. Thank goodness. Wednesday night, <laughs> Michigan State. How, how do you get that turned around? Because you played a, a couple of big time games down here, and uh, you're right back in it with ACC Big Ten on Wednesday. Well, that's, 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 that's what we're doing, you know. We're here, we're 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 here to play against tough competition, and uh, we knew we had this Michigan State game next. So, so we didn't we didn't have to schedule this way, but I did because our team had to get ready to compete in the ACC. This other ACC is every every third night. Yeah. I mean, you're playing the playing the playing a tough team. So at the at the end of the day, we gotta we gotta do a better job of getting ready to come out and play. And, and Wednesday we got another opportunity. All right, Q, tough weekend here. Back in the lab and back at it on Wednesday. Thanks for coming over. Thank you. That's Syracuse head coach Quentin Hillsman. Again, the final score tonight to Paul. One away at Syracuse.